You're watching this video to complete Lesson 4, Create and Manage References, Exercise 2, Learn to Insert and Modify References. So sign into Jasper Active, click on Lessons, choose the fourth lesson down called Create and Manage References, click Start for Create and Manage References, and this is the second exercise. Learn to insert and modify references. Click to start. Learn to insert and modify references. All right, in this exercise, we'll modify how a footnote will appear, as well as add citation sources in preparation for bibliography. You'll also work with a table of contents to see the flow of content in the report. So this is great. Uh, these are great tools to learn, especially for your future research papers, so you can cite your sources correctly. All right, and this is an interactive exercise, so we can only click on the right spot. Let's explore some of the options you can use to format a footnote or an endnote. You'll start by moving to the page where the footnote is. So on the Home tab, on the Home tab, you're going to find now you're going to look for the find button. We're going to click the little arrow next to the find button and click on go to. Go to. This is a tool that lets us go to different spots in our document. We're going to type three and it will automatically take us to page three. So type three and enter. Click go to and then close. So it's automatically taking us to page three. All right, click anywhere in the footer down here. And we're gonna go to the references tab in the top center references tab. And we're gonna click the footnote and end note dialog box launcher. So in the section that has footnotes, we're gonna click that little arrow that points down to give us some more options that little arrow pointing diagonally down in the footnotes section. Right, and then this box pops up and in the footnote layout area, we're gonna click the columns and choose one column. So instead of being squished, our uh, footnote will expand a little bit. Click apply, now it's one line across. All right, step number two or section two. Uh, as we research information from a source, it's important to cite them in your document so others can use or read that reference for more detail. So we're going to go back to the Home tab. We're going to look at that Find magnifying glass and click the arrow again to use the Go To tool. This time we're going to go to page 8. So let's type in 8, Enter, Go To, and Close. We're going to click at the end of the word sick days, end of the phrase. So click at the end of sick days. And we're going to insert a placeholder that will mark as something that you need to come back to. So a placeholder is a little, a little note that we have to come back and add a, cita uh, add a citation. Maybe we don't have it just yet. So we're going to go to the references tab in the top center. We're going to choose insert citation and we're going to choose add new placeholder. This is what we choose when we don't have all of our source information. Add new placeholder. And we're going to change the name of the placeholder to standards with a capital S. Please capitalize it correctly and spell it correctly or copy and paste with no spaces. Type in standards with a capital S and click OK or enter and then click OK. All right, number six, we're going to go to the next page and click the blank line below the paragraph of text for life insurance. So here's a blank line below life insurance. We're going to go up to the top and click insert citation, add new source. We're going to type in some items in the box to match the directions. In order to see that, I'm going to just kidding, cannot expand it here. We're going to keep it saying interview at the top. 
the interviewee, we're going to type man you life, comma, space, sun life, comma, space, city financial. You cannot copy and paste right here. So I'm just going to look really carefully and follow the directions in the direction panel what to type in the interviewee line. Manulife, comma, sun, life, comma, city financial, and match the capitalization. Manulife is capitalized, sun and life are capitalized, city, C-I-T-I, is all capitalized, and financial is capitalized. Pause this video if you need to enter it on your own screen. When you're done entering it, press enter, and we're going to go to the title. The title is employee benefits plan. Each word is capitalized. We're entering a source here so that if anybody wants to double check this information, they know where the original source is. So the title is employee benefits plan. Enter. Interviewer is Jeff Chow. Jeff Chow, enter. The year 2016, enter. The month, September, enter. And the day is 20. Remember to pause this video anytime you need to catch up on your own screen. And when everything is entered, click OK. Now our source is in the document. Now let's go look at all of our sources. So we're still on the references tab. In the middle of the tab, in that citation group, we're going to click on manage sources. Manage sources. It pops up and here is our source that we entered already. We're going to click the menu life sun life entry in the current list box. So the left says master list. The right says current list. All right, let's click Manula, Manulife on the current list box. And we're going to choose to edit this source. Edit. All right, we're going to click edit at the right of the interviewee line. So here's the interviewee line. We're going to click edit. And we're going to click delete to remove this existing entry. Let's delete that one. And we're going to go up to the top where it says last, and we're going to type in menu life. Menu life. Press enter. And then add. And then in the last, we're going to repeat that again and add sun life. Enter. And City Financial, enter, add, and we're adding a new one, Royal Bank, enter, add. So now we've separated them. Instead of having them all on one line, we've separated them and added Royal Bank. And we're going to click OK. And OK again. We're going to click the Yes box in the message to save it in both lists. And it's updated. And now we're going to click Close. So Word will manage our sources for us and make a nice bibliography. All right, so let's do that next. All right, here's our new cite citation. We're going to click on the right side of it. And click right on the right side of it and then we're going to press control enter to insert a page break so it took us to the next page and we're going to type in a title here appendix type in appendix with a capital a or you could copy and paste from the directions and press enter click on the word appendix we're going to change the style. So let's go to the Home tab. We've done lots of styles now. We're going to go to the Styles group, click the More button, the down arrow, and choose 
heading one. Heading one. This time heading one is green because that's the style of this document. In other styles, they might be blue. All right, we're gonna click the blank line underneath appendix. And then we're gonna type end notes. End the capital E, end notes, and press enter. And then click on that word we just typed, end notes, and we're gonna make that heading two. This time heading two automatically shows so we don't have to hit the more arrow. Heading two. All right, we're gonna click at the beginning of the end notes heading. And on the, we're gonna go to the references tab. And we're going to click bibliography in the center of the ribbon, bibliography. And we're gonna choose bibliography. So bibliography is a listing of all of the sources. There we go. Now it's automatically been added. All right, section five, our last section. A crucial reference for a long document is a table of contents so the reader can choose to read from start to finish or they can find the topic they're interested in. So let's go to the home tab and we're gonna use the find arrow and we're gonna use the go to tool. And we're gonna go to page two. There we go, had to wait a second to enter. Click go to and close. All right, so we're, back, we're on page two and we're gonna use the shortcut to make a page break. So press control, enter, and give us a new page. Click anywhere in the top part of this page. And we're going to go back to the references tab and we're going to choose a table of contents on the far left. Table of contents. And then we're going to choose a custom table of contents at the bottom. Custom table of contents. All right, it's not letting me choose custom table of contents, but it is letting me choose automatic table. So let's click automatic table. And after we clicked automatic table two, click once on the page, and then we're gonna try that again. We're gonna go back to table of contents. And this time we're going to click custom table of contents. All right, so we go back to table of contents. And this time we click custom table of contents. And we're going to turn off the feature that says use hyperlinks instead of page numbers. Let's turn that off. We're going to click the formats arrow and choose distinctive. Click OK and OK again. And now you are finished with this lesson. Click finish, wait for the page to load while it saves your progress, and click back to my lesson. You have now completed lesson four.